Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. It's Brother Clarence. Uh, I'd like to talk to you this morning about the no more. No more. <laughs> uh, I get that little title out of uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 16 and 17. The, the word of the Lord tells us, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days. Uh, uh, says uh, the uh, Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds uh, will I write them. Uh, verse 17 tells us, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Uh, he has taken them all away and did so by the cross. Uh, praise God. When God looks at you, uh, I want you to think about that today. Uh, when when, uh, when God looks at you, He doesn't remember that you have any past. Uh, uh, so why should you remember it? It it can hinder your faith greatly, I'm telling you. It really can. Uh, I, I, many years ago, before the Lord saved me, I thought I was one of them that sinned too much. I sinned so much that the, God couldn't save a man like me. Well, He showed me different. Uh, he saved me and, and healed my body and 34 years ago, a man that strung out on drugs and alcohol and just uh, wasted his life, uh, uh, thought he was some kind of super duper man, you know, I could do all things, I didn't need nobody's help. Well, God showed me one day I needed his help. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise his name. I. I had a 900 pound pipe clamp fell on me and messed my right leg and knee up. And then I had a 450 pound steel plate fell on me and messed my neck and shoulder all up and had surgery on both of them, my neck and well, my shoulder and my neck, my, my leg. And then I had a 38 slug go through my shoulder and it messed me up bad then. Sure enough, as they said, I never, never would use my arm again. Uh, but you know what? Jesus came by and saved me, delivered me from drugs and alcohol, healed my body right on the spot, showed me he was man and he was God enough to save me. I had I had not gone too far. When I cried out to God he heard my prayer and saved me and delivered me and set me free. I've had people tell me, uh I mean, you know, uh, I, I talked to people with, with uh, some people, uh, many have told me, Brother Clarence, uh, before I was ever saved, uh, I lived such a simple life. Then they they have told me that uh, they didn't believe that the Lord would, will do anything for them, uh, such as uh, heal them or answer their prayers because uh, they lived such a simple life before they, they were saved. They they have uh, uh, they they have a complete lack of understanding uh, concerning the new birth uh, as I did. Uh, <laughs> yes, concerning the new birth uh, and, and concerning the the new creature they they have become. Second uh, Corinthians five seventeen. Uh, the word of God tells us. Therefore, if any man uh, be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When a person become, comes to Christ, they receive remission, a blotting out of sins. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the truth. They, they, they receive that, that, that sins blotted out, the throat in the sea of forgiveness, to never be brought up against them again. Oh, praise God today. Uh, and, and, and after a person uh, is a Christian, uh, he can receive forgiveness of sins uh, that uh, that that they uh, that that he may commit in First Corinthians or First John there one and nine. Uh, the Bible tells us that we confess our sins uh, pertains to act of sin, whatever they might be. Uh, uh, the sinner is uh, to believe John three sixteen. Hallelujah. The saint is to confess. He, uh, the Lord, uh, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. God will always be true to his own uh, nature. 
and promise to keep in faith with uh, himself and with man uh, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, all, uh, not just some, uh, not not just some, uh, all our sin, uh, uh, all sin, praise God, uh, was remitted and paid for and put away on the basis of sanctification after uh, 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 offered the, uh, for the uh, demands of God's holy law, which sinners broke. Uh, when the Lord Jesus Christ died on Calvary's cross, uh, he paid that sin debt uh, for you. He paid it for me. He paid it for the whole world. Uh, if they'd only believe, uh, John 3.16, uh, hallelujah. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world, uh, presents the God kind of love, uh, that he uh, gave his only begotten son, gave him up to the cross, uh, that uh, for that, uh, what it took to redeem uh, humanity, uh, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, how long do you think, uh, how long do you think it takes God to forgive us? Uh, ten minutes? Ten years? No. God instantly forgives us, and He instantly cleanses us when we come to Him according to the to this Scriptures. Hallelujah. Uh, Romans chapter 5 and verse 1 and 2, Paul penned it down, therefore being justified by faith. Uh, we have peace. Uh, peace. Uh, peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein, uh, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Praise God, hallelujah, forevermore. I tell you, <laughs> that's good news to me. I pray that's good news to you today. I, I pray that I've said something to encourage you. Uh, don't think that for, for a minute you've, you've sinned too much to be saved. Because uh, you, if, you, if, if, if God's dealing with your heart today, uh, hey, it's God dealing with you. It's not just you thought you might like to be saved. Uh, no, that's the Holy Spirit that's working on you, uh, trying to get you to turn around, uh, turn around, turn around, because uh, He's trying to get your attention today. Uh, if, 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 if He's not dealing with you, you have no desire to turn around. But if you have a desire to turn around and you think the devil's lied to you and, th and telling you you sin too much to ever be saved, don't you believe that Hogwarts? That, yeah, I said that. That's exactly what it is. Uh, don't you believe it? You trust the Lord Jesus Christ with your heart, soul, and mind, and body. He will show you. He will show up. Uh, yes, He will. He, and He'll show off, too. <laughs> He'll throw the devil out in His crowd uh, and, and, and make you a brand new creature in Christ Jesus today. Uh, just trust the Lord Jesus Christ and the finished work what he did on Calvary's cross for you. I assure you, it's more than enough. Uh, oh, praise his name today. Glory, hallelujah. I pray that I've said something to help you, to uplift you today in the word of the Lord. Uh, well, that it, is true. It is true. Uh, you, you cannot sin too much that God won't save you. I want you to know that today. And, and he's the one who deals with our hearts. It's not... I ran for 22 years from the Lord. Every day he was he was speaking in me, uh, Adam, who art thou? Knowing, knowing, knowing that I, I had sinned too much to be saved because the devil had lied to me, and I believed that lie for a long time. But I want you to know, I used to read tracks, sit in the bathroom, I worked at the Duke Power Plant down at Catawba. I'd, Go to the bathroom just to read them tracks them guys leave in there. And I sit in there and read them tracks and, and, and say, God, I, I don't know why you won't save me. <laughs> I just sinned too much to be saved. I sure would love to be saved. That went on for a couple of years, I guess. 
I, I couldn't drink enough liquor to get drunk. I couldn't take enough pills. Uh, I mean, I just, God was hot on my trail. The high sheriff of heaven had put me under house arrest. <laughs> but praise God, I didn't know what I was so miserable for. And all them things began to happen to me, and I woke up in in the hospital, and and I mean, I was in bad shape. Uh, I, I, I was a man that didn't need nothing or nobody, but I sure found out I needed God. And I pray that you, you, you don't go that far. You don't go that far till you turn your heart and life over to Him. Listen, Brother Clarence, i got to get off of here. The time's come and gone, but I love you. God bless you. And I pray that you'll help me pray tonight at 8 o'clock. And uh, I'd like to invite you, if you don't have a home church, you live in Belmont or Mount Holly, around there somewhere, uh, a little old church over on 273, uh, uh Kevin Crawford, I mean, Kevin Crumley, the pastor there. It's a little church called Southern Grace. Come on out and be with them and worship the Lord with them if you don't have a home church. And if you live up around Gastonia or Kings Mountain, up right off 2974 down Old Springs Road there, right by the golf course there. Come down that road, cross a little creek bridge, and a little church right there on your right. Uh, it's a uh, Harry Davis is pastor there in Mountain View Agape. Mountain View Agape. Come on out and visit him. He'd love to have you. Well, God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. You have a blessed, blessed day. And I, and I love you. And Jesus does too.